as I go full time on Potion, I wanna figure out what are the things I can work on that are really gonna move the needle? Like what things should I really be spending my time on to really push Potion forward? So let's look at some data, some metrics that I have that I've just accumulated over time to really try to figure out what I should be doing, what I should be spending my time on. So first taking a look here at Fathom, these are the views that I'm getting for the Potion website. So I'm getting you know around 4,000 unique visitors. Um, Split B kind of shows like 5,000. Um, yeah, because this doesn't even have the full last data because I only started using this within the last month. So this is per month. Um, and I know that it's been up to like highs of like 10,000 a month or something like that. So I'm getting, you know, somewhere around 5,000, 7,000 views most months. And you can kind of see where these are coming from. So anyways, I feel pretty good about this. Like this is a, a decent amount of traffic that if this just continues, like I have enough people coming in the door. Um, so we can look at my free trials. This, These are per month. So I'm getting around 100 trials a month. This is just this month, so that's why it's, it's lower. Um, and so if I can get 100 trials a month, which I've been doing, and if I can get around 50% of those people to actually convert, that's 50 new customers a month. And if I can do that, that would, that'd be a pretty good spot where I'd be growing at a pretty nice range, probably like $500 a month of MRR, something around that. Um, that's what I've seen in the past at least. So I feel like pretty good at the top of the funnel. Obviously, all these numbers could be bigger and better. And um, at some point, I really want, I'll, I'll really wanna focus on that and focus on the marketing. But I, I have some other issues that I think make more sense. So this is my trial to paid conversion rate. And for a while here, you can see it's been around 50% at a high, very beginning it was 64%. 50% is pretty good. Like I have credit card up front for the trial. Um, and so typically what I hear is 40, 60, 42-60% is pretty standard for conversion rates when you have a free trial of credit card up front. But you can see here, I started to dip the last two months. It, it was 30% in December and 42%. And so I have no idea why. Um, both these last two months were probably my worst months overall um, in growth and stuff. I didn't, I didn't grow too much. And I don't know if that's just because end of year, it was December, everyone's getting ready for Christmas, who knows? So maybe that's partially why these rates are down, but this is definitely not good. Like I wanna keep this up to 50%. And so part of me is like, okay, maybe you know, just hold it out, don't worry about it too much. Maybe it'll just bop, pop back up, uh, hopefully it does. Um, but I definitely want this to be higher. So I think there's probably some things I can do to make this better um, and keep people converting. Um, so that's, I think that's one of the things that could really be, you know, if I can keep this up, um, uh, that could really move the needle, um, help grow MRR. <clears throat> and then the other thing to look at is churn key here. Um, so this is a form that people are filling out when they cancel. It actually, they, they fill it out when they um, cancel their trial as well. So I have to take that with a grain of salt that th some of these are people that haven't fully used the product or maybe even not at all. They're just getting out of their trial. And um, you can actually see that right here, it says on trial. Um, <clears throat> but um, there's this little survey that people fill out when they cancel. And so you can see 45% of people out of these 97 people say no longer needed, 20% missing features, 20% other, 9% budget, technical issues, 5%. And so this no longer needed is a little bit hard to know how to deal with because, you know, in some ways it kind of shows my market that just people are moving around a lot. They're starting projects, stopping projects. Um, they're moving on quickly. And so there's not maybe a ton I can do there or um, that means um, that maybe there's some things that I can kind of grow my niche, uh, kind of grow the, the amount of things that you can do with Potion that make it to be something people can need longer. I, my guess is also this is kind of just a jump ball kind of answer, uh, you know, fill in the blank kind of answer that maybe just more people fill because there could be lots of reasons for why something's no longer needed. They could be moving on to competitors. Like I, I can even see that here. This person answered no longer needed and then they said, hey, no, happy to share. I recently got an account on card and makes sense for me to move my site there since it holds 10 sites. So there's just all kinds of reasons why people 
are moving on to other things. This person says, I'm learning to make my own website without using Notion. I mean, this subscriber, he's been using Potion for the last 10 months, been a great subscriber. And it's like, you know, he just decided he wants to build a new website and learn how to do it from scratch. And that's fine, like that's cool. It's just, there's a lot of reasons why people are canceling as I look through this data, which makes it a little bit <clears throat> hard to understand. Like this person says, when I set my page in Potion, it looks horrible and didn't function correctly. So obviously that isn't very good feedback. You know, who knows what his expectations were because typically Potion looks good. I mean, ideally it does. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think that's where there's some things maybe on the very edge use cases of Potion where they could be better, where maybe a very small percentage of people, of users run into those things. But if I have, you know, little things like that here and there, um, that can add up. Um, and so those are kind of things I need to make better. So all this being said, looking at this data, looking at some of the things I think I, I can do to move the needle better, I think where it makes sense for me to spend some of my time right now is really like kind of polishing the product a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is like, fixing bugs, fixing little like use cases that people get stuck in in Potion, because I know there are some of those. Um, and so fixing bugs where it just works like people expect. And so for most cases, I think it does, which is great. But there are, like I'm saying, these use cases where people maybe get confused, um, Potion doesn't work exactly right, like they're wanting. Um, so I think, you know, working on kind of some of that those bugs, maybe some UX things, just making it a better experience overall, um, I mean, I know one of the biggest things I've seen is people expect Potion to look exactly like Notion. Um, so when they're editing, changing things in Notion, they expect Potion to look exactly the same. And so I know there's some things that I can kind of sync the two across, like, like this task, add linked page blocks. So this is like a block that Potion doesn't support currently. And there's other ways to do this, but when someone just is trying to make a linked page block in Notion and then they don't see that in Potion, that's confusing and it's just not a great experience. So there's some features around that that I think makes sense for me to focus on next. Um, this is another new one where Notion just added to where you can have header blocks with toggles. So like that's one where if someone tries to do that in Notion, they're gonna be confused that it doesn't work. And so those are the kind of little use cases I, I think I wanna build around. And so yeah, that's, I think I'll probably for a little while be focusing more on product. So I, you know, I always like to do 50% product, 50% marketing, but I think right now it probably makes a little bit more sense for me to focus on this product, um, focus on the experience, and there's probably gonna be some new features. Um, I really wanna soon kind of redesign the dashboard to make it a lot better, and so that's probably gonna be soon. So I'm probably gonna be spending a bit more time on the product than marketing um, in the near future so that then I'm ready to go back and really hit marketing hard and, and grow this thing. But I wanna make sure that the product's ready for that and in a, a really good place. So yeah, that, this is kind of some of the stuff I've been thinking through and um, oh, there's so many things to do. So I'm glad that now I have time to just kind of start picking away at them day by day and we're, I think, really gonna make this better and, and push Potion forward.